Uh, this hand's alright. A couple of scry lands. We'll probably lead on scry land, play uh, our seer here on turn two. Ooh, messenger sweet with all our sackers. So we're looking at seer plus scry land. Ooh. A blue deck. Alright, so Seer plus Scryland. Ooh, Blood Artist is awesome. That's exactly what we want. We actually kind of got the combo going on. I mean, we don't have our Rally or Return to the Ranks, but we have some powerful cards. Uh, yeah. So I think we just lead on Messenger. Looks like that might get caught by your uh, remand. Could be a leak, I guess. This deck is actually pretty sweet. I, th I think this deck is sweet against control decks. We haven't actually played one yet. In theory, it seems sweet against control decks. Not 100% sure about Splinter Twin. We don't have a uh, as much interaction in the main deck, especially inter instant speed interaction. We have a couple of a couple of copies of Dismember, and that's about it. We do have a bunch of Doom Blades in the sideboard, which could help. Rally time. All right, so I think we just do the same thing as last turn. Try to play the Messenger. Electrolyze. All right, so we sack a uh, Fasira Seer, get some Scry. Do we want another land? I think so, because then we can play like Pawn plus Blood Artist, or Aristocrat plus Blood Artist next turn. And then we're setting ourselves up for our big rally kills. Probably have to play Aristocrat plus Blood Artist, I guess. So this does look like a blue red twin. So we have to be aware that we could always just die any minute and we don't really have a way of stopping that at the moment wow 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 okay fine with me main phase electrolyze to kill the messenger all right so we're just gonna blood artist Vampire Aristocrat. Now we're kind of setting up for... We might be able to kill at instant speed in response to our opponent's combo. Which they will draw sooner or later. I don't think we can do quite enough damage yet. It's going to kill our Blood Artist. Um, well, I guess we just sack it. There's not really any reason not to. If our opponent taps out, then I think we win. If they stay untapped, though, we might not. Alright, we'll play a Swamp. Get in for two. Do we play our Pawn of Ulamog? Alright, let's say our opponent goes to Loot House. We rally everything back, put our opponent to 7 from Messenger, put our opponent to 654 from Messenger with the Blood Artist trigger and sacking it. Then we can sack Messenger 3, 2, 1. I think we just don't quite win, right? Because we can't sack the the blood artist. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I think we put them to one. Uh, so in that case, I think we just play Pawn of Ulamog. Cryptic Command, that's acceptable. So now we're just waiting to catch our opponent when they go to Loot House or something. Alright, opponent Rose. 
So we're just going to ship the turn and then yeah, we'll just pass. If they go to loot house, we'll rally everything back and then we can win. Yep, here's a combo kill. Rally combo. Rally back everything. And with the pawn of Ulamog in the graveyard, we get so many more creatures uh, that we definitely pull off the combo. Uh, so now we can uh, sack our Dralf's Messenger. And that gets us a Dr Eldrazi spawn token, which we can also sack. So that doubles up on our triggers. Our opponent might just scoop here if they realize that they're dead. So we get the Eldrazi token. Messenger comes back in. Deals two damage. Sack the messenger. Get the Eldrazi spawn token. Drain with Blood Artist. I will uh, auto yield next time, but I'm going to show you guys how this works. So now we can sack Eldrazi spawn token. Triggers Blood Artist. Sack Eldrazi spawn token. Triggers Blood Artist. And sack our Vasira Seer, I guess. Triggers. Pawn of Ulamog and Blood Artist, and we got the combo. Sweet! <laughs> this deck is actually working. Uh, <laughs> sometimes when I make budget magic, I test out a couple games first. This one I just brewed up in theory. Um, <laughs> uh, just brewed up the deck list and jumped right into the two man cues, and uh, so far, so sweet. Being able to go off at instant speed is awesome because it puts that pressure on our opponent to uh, usually you're worried about tapping out against twin because they can just uh, end of turn deceiver X arc and then untap and kill you. Well we actually have make them worried if they tap out for a loot house or a deceiver X arc we can just randomly win. And because we have 8 return to the rank slash rally of ancestors. Getting our stuff countered actually isn't that bad. So I think we just bring in a, a Doom Blades, a couple Doom Blades to break up the combo. Uh, in place of what is the question? I guess we can get rid of Marauder and I guess the Aristocrat. I like having the, the ninth free sacrifice effect, but that is the worst of them. Not horrible. Got a Blood Artist and a Rally. We do not have an actual Sacrifice effect. Uh, we'll just lead on Temple of Silence. Oh, Swamp. Do we need a fourth land? I don't think so. Apart from... <coughs> <coughs> Apart from Rally, we can... Our entire hand is unlocked as it is. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Eventually, we'll draw lands. That's one thing that's yeah, pretty sure in Magic. Another Doom Blade. Well, we are safe to tap out here, so we'll just run out the Blood Artist. There's a chance we'll be able to catch an oddly timed Deceiver Exarch or something with Gatekeeper. But we will run it out without Kicker eventually if we have to. Uh. Now I think it's safest to leave up Doomblade. Just in case. Alright, our opponent's just going to go with Electrolyze. We get to drain for one. The downside of Rally, it's not that great without a Sacrifice Outlet. Return to the Ranks doesn't matter, because uh, it doesn't have that pesky Exile Clause. Alright, well we're drawing Lands, which is solid. I think we're just going to cast our gatekeeper without kicker so we can still leave up doomblade if our opponent uh, goes for a deceiver exarch or pestermite there's exarch so we're just gonna kill that right now while your opponent's all tapped out next turn we can play pawn and still leave up doomblade and then we're really waiting for a Sacrifice Outlet. Don't really want to rally until we get that. 
All right, kills our gatekeeper. Well, let's run out our pawn of Ulamog and another gatekeeper since we don't have to worry about a combo piece this turn since our opponent only has two mana. Snapcaster for, hmm, I would assume Electrolyze, like Electrolyze our Gatekeeper or something, or probably our Pawn is better to Electrolyze. Once we draw a Sacrifice Outlet, we will be in serious business as far as comboing with Rally. Temple of Silence. I think we... Ah, there's a Sacrifice Outlet. Excellent. That works. Well, now we'll just attack with Gatekeeper. Opponent blocks. So we can't quite uh, win with Rally. Bloodthrown Vampire. And we'll pass the turn. So the sweet... Th oh, well I guess we need one more mana to get our pawn back, which we really want for the combo. So we could rally now, but I don't really think we want to. Oddly enough, our opponent shied away from even activating their loot house. We will return to the ranks. We could return to the ranks, but it will likely get countered. Gets back two gatekeepers and a blood artist, and we can like mini combo. If we draw another white source, we can do both in the same turn, which would be really sweet. Now let's just attack with our Bloodthrown Vampire. And we'll just pass for now. Leave up Doomblade, leave up Rally. Pester might. I guess we got a Doom Blade, the Pester might, or try to. Opponent's going to remand the Doom Blade, and then we'll just recast it. And her opponent drew into Dispel. Jeez. Alright, so we probably lose now that they uh, had the Dispel there as well. Can't do much about that. We uh, Dispel was basically the only card in that situation that would get us. Twisted Image, our Eldrazi spawn, which will sack so our opponent doesn't draw a card. Our opponent only has three cards. I'm not sure why they would Twisted Image if they had the combo. Vasira Seer. What is our plan now? I guess we play Vasira Seer. We can return to the ranks. That really taps us down. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, I think we gotta try it. One, two, three. One, two. Hmm. Aye! Or we can go for Rally. If we resolve a Rally, I think we win, but the odds of that probably aren't great. But maybe we just try Rally. Why not? Only live once, right? Rally for three. Let's get cryptic. Cryptic commanded. Crypticed? Commanded. Yeah, whatever. Or remanded. Yep, there's cryptic. Fair enough. Can't really do much about that. So we'll get in with our vampire for one. Thankfully, we can still return to the ranks, 
but we are living in fear that our opponent yep, just draws a twin. And our opponent just drew a twin. Alright. Sometimes that happens. Alright, maybe we bring in more Doom Blades just for... I just don't know what to cut. I guess we can cut a Gatekeeper and maybe one return to the ranks. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to cut anything. Alright. Reasonable. No interaction. But reasonable. Our opponent's on the Mulligan plan. Alright, we'll start off with a Seer. So if we draw lands to be able to rally, this hand should be sweet. And we probably use Seer to scry for lands. Like for right now, for example. Oh, we will leave that on top. It isn't a, a white source, so we still can't rally. But... Um, I think we just play a Gatekeeper here as a 2-2. Two -two. We do have 10 white sources, so the odds of finding another one for Rally aren't that slim. Oh, our opponent's playing a green version of Twin. There's a white source. Alright, so we get in with Gatekeeper. Play Temple of Silence. Now we're looking for... Hmm, that's interesting. I think that can win us the game too. Um, so now we just play Blood Throne Vampire. Gonna get remanded. Yup, sure. Just gotta hope our opponent literally doesn't go, like, <laughs> Deceiver X Art combo win. Then we lose. Alright, so we get to get in with our Gatekeeper. Snapcasta. That's fine. Snapcaster, I guess, bolt our Gatekeeper. Oh, block our Gatekeeper, block, bolt something else. I see, I see. Our opponent targeted Bolt, right? Hmm. Ay ay ay. I guess we can just sh ship the turn? Oh, we really don't want our Blood Throne Vampire to just get bolted. That feels bad. Our face is fine. I don't mind that getting bolted. We could rally back these two just for the scrying. I don't know if that's worth it, though. Alright, so we will lead on a Gatekeeper, uh, follow it up with Blood Throne Vampire, we are showing our opponent it's a green light for the combo, but it looks like they do not have it. They are understandably worried about Blood Throne Vampire, so it's going to meet a remand. So we really would like a Blood Artist or a Highborn. Another Blood Throne. Well, I guess we keep it. Two is probably better than one, right? Especially when we're just going to start rallying things back. Rose, our Gatekeeper. Alright, our opponent's down to two cards, which is good. Alright, so we're going to play Double Blood Throne Vampire. Hopefully we can make at least one of them live. And then we can start rallying things back and doing that. Still don't have one of our, like, combo combo pieces. But we might be able to just, like, rally stuff back and get there with Blood Throne Vampire beats. We're not going to block. Ooh, Blood Artist. Hmm. <coughs> this keeps getting more and more interesting. I think we... Jeez. We can play Blood Artist and return to the ranks X2? That doesn't seem bad. Let's play Blood Artist. See what our opponent has in store. 
it resolves, so we could return to the ranks X2, or even X3 if we tap all of our Bloodthrown Vampires. Let's just go X2 and get a Seer and a Gatekeeper, uh, because we can tap our Blood Artist. So return to the ranks X2, see what this does. It is a sorcery, so it can't be dispelled. Can be remanded and cryptic. If our opponent can just combo us off, we're definitely in trouble. But now we get to attack with less, both blood throne vampires, and we can pro. Can we win? Three, six, nine, three, five, seven, nine. Yeah, I mean we should be able to win. Uh, so we sack one, sack two. I mean, I guess if our opponent's slow rolling a cryptic, this is annoying. Uh, sack three. Sack, well, we don't even have to sack that at the moment. Oh, we did. <laughs> oh, that was one of the worst punts I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to get punished if they try to kill our blood artist. We just sack. We just sack first. But oh, that was horrible. We literally just had to sack one more time and we won. But Oh, we get another return to the ranks, so... Just return to the ranks... I guess we return to the ranks everyone? Opponent's going to loot in response. And as long as this resolves... We just win. they draw a counter they live to fight it another day thanks to my epic punt that was a that was a horrible one jeez I have no idea what was going through my mind can't be dispelled alright it's gonna bolt the blood artist so we sack blood artist and that should do it yep Whoo! Jeez! Alright, twin down, even despite my punning. This deck has been pretty sweet.